if you have a ceiling fan in the kitchen, you'll notice that if you do a lot of cooking, the blades can get pretty grody. I'm going to show you how I clean them today. Uh, it's not a, a pleasant chore. It's a nasty chore, but it's not necessarily a difficult chore. On each side of your fan blade harness you have a screw here and a screw here. One on each side. Once you get the blade off you'll have something that looks like this. If you flip the blade over there are usually three screws. You have to take these screws, unscrew these screws for the blade to come off the blade holder. There's usually a washer that goes along with the screw, so make sure that you don't lose either one of those pieces. You want to make sure that you clean these washers and, and screws real well before you put reassemble your, your blade. Once you get those screws out, the blade holder simply just comes off. I use a tub of hot soapy water to soak the hardware in while I'm working on the blades. You don't want to soak your blades because most likely they're made out of a wood or wood laminate material. Uh, so what you do want to do is you want to try to just simply wash off the main part of the dirt without soaking the paddle. Again, I would not recommend submerging or soaking the paddle. Now you'll notice there's still quite a bit of grease on here, grease and dirt little pieces hanging off. So what I use to clean them is soft scrub. Get this from your, uh, I don't know, Walmart or Kmart or whatever it is you normally shop at. Um, but it comes in a bottle. Shake it up real well. Squirt a little on your paddle. Work it in with your sponge. You don't want to scrub real hard, but just consistent. It can take a little time, so don't rush with it. Flip it over. Put some soft scrub on the back side, or the other side, there is no back side. I use a Scott sponge that's got the uh, little scrubber on the back side. Don't apply a lot of pressure, just, just gentle strokes. Let the soft scrub do its work, and you just kind of move the grease and dirt out of the way. You want to do your best to get all of the grease and dirt off the paddle even on the edges. If you don't get it all off, it can cause an unbalanced situation will make your fan wobble. And nobody likes a wobbly fan. You just rinse your fan, fan blade.
check for any missed spots. Shake off the excess water and set the panel over to dry. While you're waiting for it to dry, make sure that you're cleaning all the grease and dirt off of your paddle holder. Soft scrub will work on it as well if you have any tough spots that you can't get off with regular hot water and soap. Make sure you get inside the crevices on the back side. Rinse it off. Set it over to dry. Many times the fan blades or paddles on a, on a ceiling fan will have two different designs, uh, one on each side. As you can see we had red on one side and we've got wood pattern grain on the other. We've had the red out uh, where it shows on this one um, since we've had the fan, but we're going to switch it up this time and put the wood grain down. So you start with placing the, the holder on the side that you want down, just flipping it over and align the holes with the in the paddle with the holes in the holder. I suggest starting with this screw up here because it lets you kind of align the others up fairly easily. You don't want to tighten it down too tight until you get the other screws in place. This allows you a little bit of freedom of movement in case you have to make adjustments in order to place the other screws. Once you get all three screws started in, then you can kind of snug them up a little bit. So the blade doesn't slip around. And that will be the side of the blade that will be exposed to people who see the blade. Once you get the blades washed, just reassemble them to the, to the motor and you'll be good to go. And this is what it looks like. Quite a bit better than it did before. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tip that I do. I do one blade at a time. Take one blade off, clean it, put one blade back up. That way it keeps them all in place. You don't have to worry about mixing them up uh, in case they might be a, you know, slightly off balance or whatnot. So, but that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching.